10 Eyewitness News Update is proudly presented by the new Nissan. This is the 10 Eyewitness News with Juanita Phillips. Good evening. One of the champions of women priests, Bishop Owen Dowling, is quitting his post as Anglican Bishop of Canberra and Goulburn. Stress is given as the reason for the retirement. Bishop Dowling still faces charges of soliciting for prostitution. Bishop Owen Dowling will be remembered as a man who brought the church out of the horse and cart days and into the modern world. His most controversial work to do with the ordination of women. Twice he sought to ordain women in his own diocese, twice he was stopped. In fact, I claim that it's little short of vexatious. But the vexations were to get worse. In April, while at Bendigo, the bishop was charged with soliciting for prostitution, a claim he and the church have vigorously denied. But the pressures of his ministry and the various legal battles have taken their toll. After two months sick leave and a week back at work, he's retiring. More brickbats for the United States at the Earth Summit in Rio. With other countries pledging billions in environment aid to the third world, President Bush has been forced to defend his stance not to offer any extra money to developing countries. President Bush is not only being criticised publicly on the streets of the Brazilian capital, his failure to sign a treaty to protect endangered wildlife prompted Greenpeace protesters, including an Australian, to hang a huge banner on a mountain overlooking Rio. They claim the environment has been sold to multinational companies. The summit secretary general is also critical of the U.S. We must hope that uh, the U.S. position on some of these issues will change from what it is now. As delegates posed for photographs, Japan emerged as a world environment leader, pledging $10 billion to developing countries for conservation projects. And the 12-nation European community promised $5 billion leaving the U.S. as the lone industrialised nation not to make any new offers. In London, a show of unity from the Prince and Princess of Wales. Diana smiled and chatted with her husband at a colourful parade in marked contrast to Friday's public tears. The occasion was the Trooping of the Colour, a glittering parade to celebrate the Queen's birthday. Diana appeared relaxed as she chatted with the Queen Mother and her son Harry as they travelled in an open carriage. Prince Charles also appeared at the ceremony, but his regimental duties kept him apart from his wife. As crowds gathered outside Buckingham Palace, Charles and Diana then joined other members of the royal family to put on a united and happy front for the cameras. The couple exchanged a few words as they stood side by side to watch a fly pass. Princess Diana showing she had clearly recovered her public poise since breaking into tears last week under the strain of allegations that she had attempted suicide in despair at a loveless marriage. Good news for Prime Minister Keating. He's clawed back in front of John Hewson in the latest popularity poll. His position as preferred Prime Minister has risen by two points to 38%, with Dr Hewson remaining on 36%. The AGB survey also shows support for the ALP and the Coalition equal at 41% each. In sport around the nation today, Easts and the Brisbane Broncos share the Premiership lead in the Winfield Cup competition following this weekend's round. In a high-scoring game in Brisbane, the Broncos toppled Norths 28-22. There were matching results in the Easts Canberra and Illawarra Canterbury clashes, both 24-8. Cronulla 20, Souths 16. Wests just edged out Newcastle 2018. Parramatta in the shock of the round trounced Penrith 20-0. And St George 20 beat the Gold Coast 10. In AFL matches around the country today. Collingwood and the West Coast Eagles played a nail-biter, with the Magpies taking a one-point victory in Perth. On the Gold Coast, Essendon posted a 44-point victory over the struggling Bears, and Footscray crushed Melbourne 161-54. A good victory to the Socceroos playing in Orlando, Florida. They beat the United States 1-0. Striker Warren Spink netted the winning goal five minutes before full time when he headed a free kick from Mike Peterson. Australia's match-winning goal shooter Vicky Wilson will miss the rest of the netball series against New Zealand. Wilson broke her wrist in the dying moments of the first Trans-Tasman oh, Test. Yeah. Australia won the match 67-46. Weather-wise, a mixed bag tomorrow, fine in most capital cities. Sydney mainly fine, some rain in Brisbane and Perth. Next news on 10, tomorrow morning at 6. I'm Juanita Phillips. Good night.
with power and luxury that eclipses everything in its class. The new patrol is pretty tough to beat. The new fuel-injected patrol from Nissan. The new Nissan.